It's time for Boxy Charm. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm so glad to have all of you. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I have some awesome things to share with you today. It is Boxy Charm Unboxing Day. Well, that didn't focus. First BoxyCharm base box of 2021. They have totally new box numbers. I got C2101032-BA, if that means anything to you. But the theme this month is Fresh Start. And I got some really cool stuff. I'm just going to go in order of what how it's listed on the card. This month's choice item... I actually didn't get what I chose, so that was a little bit of a bummer. Um, the, the first item I got was the Ciate London Velvet Palette. Not really excited when I saw this because we got a Ciate London Palette before, and at first I didn't really like the way it pre performed. I've since tried it a few different times, and it's grown on me. This is what the palette is looking like. I don't know if the colors are coming up really true. Anyways, the outside has kind of a little velvety feel. The colors are really beautiful. I ended up using it for this look. So if you like my shadow, stay tuned. I will show that at the end. But this retails for $30. It says... Create molten metal and matte looks with this palette, featuring a mix of hyper metallic soft shimmers and velvety smooth mattes. The innovative power formula, the innovative power formulation delivers high pigment with super soft application. So that was that. The next thing I got is this Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. I have huge stretched pores, if you could see, or if you've seen in my other videos. So I was excited to get this because BHA is supposed to be a good thing to help that. Um, I did try this on. It says you can use it morning and or night. It says an alcohol-free 2% BHA toner that gently exfoliates, deep cleans pores, and controls oil without overstripping skin. Ideal for combination oily or acne prone skin, which that's me. So the suggested retail price is $28. The next thing I got was this Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo Heart of Gold. This Illuminator Duo features a shimmer that radiates with pearlescent polish and a stardust sparkle. Again, I don't know if it's going to show up. There you go. You can kind of see it's like a darker goldish and a lighter goldish color. I do have it on. Again, um, the try on portion will be at the end, so stay tuned for that. But it says... The left shade shimmer is a soft low light of crushed pearl and the right shade sparkle is a high intensity sparkle that looks as though it was plucked from the night sky. Sounds so romantic. Suggest repro retail price of $33. Next thing I got was the Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Eye Cream. It says, this deeply hydrating peptide-powered cream helps diminish all signs of aging around the delicate eye area, including lines, wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness for refreshed, younger-looking eyes for all skin types. So, you know, eye creams are debatable. Some people say you don't need them because your regular skincare moisturizer should be good enough for that some people say eye creams are just a gimmick. I personally do like eye creams and I like Dr. Brandt, so I was happy to get that. Um, suggested retail price, $82. $82. Wow. Okay. 
then last thing I got was this Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. Essential oils of sweet orange and coconut give this lip balm its citrusy, tropical aroma and silky smooth consistency. I had this on. It's definitely silky smooth. Um, a sweet orange pack for vitamin C, which is known to even skin tone and protect against free radicals. Coconut is a natural emollient that moisturizes for soft, supple lips. It says suggested re retail price of $33. So that's everything I got in my box. Overall, I'm really happy with the box, even though I didn't get my choice item, which I chose the pure tinted moisturizer. I'm not mad. I didn't get that. I, I'm, I'm happy with everything I got, even though I wasn't excited about the Ciate London palette at first. It is a nice little palette that um, I can add my to my growing collection and I really do I do like the look I created so if you want to see how I got that um, you can stay tuned if you like unboxings hauls makeup beauty make sure you subscribe to the channel I always say you're never too young or too old to unleash your beauty